How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Yo, it's Herman here and if you're like me, you're always keeping an eye out for effects to spice up your edit or fix things in post. You see, I started learning After Effects through YouTube tutorials so that I could find ways to make my edits look less trash, either by making the camera footage less shaky or adding creative effects to make it look dope. Through the years, I found myself collecting and using the same 10 effects or updates of the effect on almost every project that I work on. And just like my journey in After Effects, I'll start by sharing the powerful effects that have helped me polish up my footage and then make my way down to the more stylistic effects that kind of adds that cherry on top. So buckle up and here we go. Now, most of the shoots that I've done are very run and gun. So I've always found myself having at least a couple shots where the framing was a little bit uneven. What I mean is that I try to shoot something straight on and have the horizon evenly balanced. And it looks like I shot it at an angle when I'm not trying to. So I have found that CC power pin is a really useful effect to fix my crappy camera work. But another good use for this is for screen replacement. Some of you might already know what corner pin is already if you've exported tracking data to stick on a fake screen. But CC power pin is more functional by giving you additional tools to make finer adjustments. So I recommend copying those keyframes over to CC power pin for a more pleasant experience and more control. Now, when I was first getting the hang of shooting run and gun, I always shot things handheld and I had to get in and out of locations. So spending time fiddling around with a camera stabilizer just wasn't an option. Plus I couldn't afford one. So the telltale sign that made me look like an amateur was shooting footage that had shaky camera movement. And when you're first starting out and you can't afford a camera or a lens with in-camera like image stabilization built in, then your footage can look like a jittery mess. Luckily, warp stabilization is a godsend gift that has saved me on every project that I work on. So if you're not going for the stylistic handheld movement that you see in things like music videos, then you generally wanna keep the movement smooth so it looks professional and well-produced. And that's why I drop warp stabilization on everything. Even now, when I'm shooting on a camera stabilizer, I still add warp stabilization to get that buttery smooth movement. The trick, the secret sauce, is by just adding like one or two percent of warp stabilization to get those micro jitters out. So far, I've been talking about effects that have saved my ass as a filmmaker, but remember, you can't fix everything in post. Promise me you'll try your best to get it right in camera first. So while we're riding this wave where speed ramps are still a hip and cool thing to use in your edits, God, I sound like a grandpa. I found this effect quite useful. When I first started speeding up my footage to make dope transitions, I found something a little off and it was because these sped up frames looked too clean. So I thought, you know, if the camera really moved that fast, there would be motion blur. And that's when I discovered CC Force Motion Blur. All you gotta do is drop it in and boom, you've got motion blur. I don't know what kind of witchcraft After Effects is using, but I found that this effect gives pretty good results. So if you ever feel like something in motion is lacking some weight or realism, then drop this bad boy onto your clip. I used to like using Gaussian blur and fast blur for various things, but when it came to blurring footage or faking depth of field, it never really cut it. That is when this beautiful effect found its way into my tool belt. Camera lens blur is a great way to add realistic camera blur to whatever you drop it on. So if you film something and decided that it would tell a stronger narrative to first start out out of focus and then rack focus into clarity, then you can do that by using this effect. I use this a lot to blur my background if I need some text or a logo to pop up. This also works great for when you're creating motion graphics and you want to add a realistic camera blur. You can also fake depth of field by adding a blur map to give a really good blur fall off. I don't know if that's a real term, but let's just Let's just roll with it. It's a really impressive effect that adds that level of detail to whatever that you do, pushing your work to 110%. Okay, so this one is more of a tool rather than an effect, but there is no way that I am not mentioning this in 2021. I'm talking about Rotobrush 2.0. This beast uses artificial intelligence to find the edges of what you want to roto, so it gives insanely clean results when rotoing tricky things like hair. I used to use the pen tool and mask things frame by frame like a peasant. Using artificial intelligence to take the weight off my shoulders is the future. Although it's a tool, getting a clean roto opens the door to so many insane effects. For example, you can cut out a person and then add an echo effect to get something really trippy. It's something you definitely can't sleep on if you're working in After Effects. Hopefully you're finding the effects that I'm sharing useful so far. And I wanna take a quick break to talk about a pack that I handcrafted for modern creators like you. So if you wanna add some spice to your edits, check out Enter the Future. It's a motion graphic asset pack that includes a variety of assets that you 
can use for music videos, commercials, live streams, or narrative films, you name it. It comes with an unlimited license, so you can use it for as many projects as you like, and a tutorial on how to use everything. So if you need transitions, borders, or custom text animations to give your video a modern edge, I recommend checking it out. You can get more info on it by clicking the little pop-up in the corner over there or with the link below in the description. Yeah, let's move on by talking about Curves. Curves is an oldie but a goldie. I always found that sounds a little weird. It's got to be my most used color grading tool when it comes to quickly adjusting the colors in After Effects. What makes it so powerful is that you can not only adjust the luminance value, but also the red green and blue channels separately, all in one effect. It's also my favorite way to add a pleasant vignette to my shots. All I gotta do is add a curves effect onto an adjustment layer and then just mask the area that I want to apply the vignette to. Even though it's probably been around since like the very first version of After Effects when it was released, it still holds up as one of the best effects in 2021. And I don't think there's anyone who works in After Effects and doesn't use curves. Okay, so this effect is gonna make me sound a little stupid because earlier I shared an effect uh, that gets rid of shakiness. The wiggle effect adds shakiness, but it's like controlled shakiness. You see, when I shot footage that had some sort of impactful action, I felt like they were always still feeling a little bit too weak. Wiggle is a little cheat that adds a little oomph to your impacts, so it feels like there's a little more weight to the movement. It's also a great way to add some liveliness to your motion graphics or lyric videos instead of just boring static shots. Or you can cause an earthquake. The power is in your hands with the wiggle effect. With its versatility, it definitely belongs on this list. Now, I found that when I use the wiggle effect, the edges of the frame would show, making my edits look dumb. Motion tile is the best way to fix this by extending the edges of my frame and mirroring them. That way, the frame looks seamless. But hold on, motion tile is not just a band-aid when you're using wiggle. It's a powerful tool that creates seamless repetitions of whatever you like. So if you want a graphic that you want to expand seamlessly, motion tile becomes your best friend. This works so great for backgrounds and textures, but also for typography when you want to, you know, multiply your text instead of being a fool like I once was, where I just had like hundreds of text layers. Guys, the hard way isn't always the right way. While we're leaning into more stylized effects, let's talk about the displacement map. There's so much that you can do with it, but one of my favorite ways is to use it to create a sick ripple effect. It's a great way to add a moment of impact or when you're overlaying some sort of energy animation. I also like to use it a lot when I want to add some sort of glitch effect. And by now, I'm sure that you know how much I like glitchy futuristic stuff. And because of its versatility, it deserves its spot as one of the best effects in After Effects, even in 2021. Finally, my personal favorite effect, Glow. Glow is one of those things that you don't need, but boy, when you add it in, you just can't stop. I'm a fan of eye-catching things and adding glow is such a great way to make your VFX or motion graphics stand out. From fantasy themed shots to cyberpunk neon signs, you just can't go wrong with adding a bit of glow. I feel like a damn moth. But when it comes to stylized effects, this is one that I just can't live without. So there you guys have it. 10 of what I believe are the best effects of 2021 in After Effects. From ones that add some extra polish to your footage, all the way to some more creative effects that you can use in your edits. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite or what you believe deserved to be on the list. Now, if you wanna see more videos like this on the Olufemi channel, then make sure to hit the big red subscribe button if you haven't done so already and click the bell notification so that you don't miss a thing. As I mentioned before, make sure to check out my pack called Enter the Future if you're looking for some sick motion graphic assets to spice up your video. You just gotta click the little pop-up for some more information or by using the link in the description below. Now, if you wanna see what I'm personally up to, then check out my Instagram. The handle is at coffee liquor. Again, my name is Herman and I'll see you guys in the next video.